Hello and welcome to this particular part of my house. And today in this particular part of my house, I'm gonna be opening an Elite Trainer Box from the 151 and an Ultra Premium Collection, also from the 151. But first, we need the mascot, Cyndaquil, to watch over. So I'm gonna open this and with the power of editing, that will have happened. We'll cut the bit of tape off the top and I should be able to get our boy out. Oh, it's fallen. There we go. I don't think he's supposed to lay like that, but for the time being, he will. And there's probably a collector or seven out there that are completely butt hurt that I've taken him out of the container. You know what? I don't care. I'm never going to sell him anyway. So there he is. The best boy in the best pose imaginable. I don't really think it's necessary to keep the box sealed, you know, because it's just a bit of cardboard with plastic inside of it. So yeah. There he is. I think that's in frame with the camera above. Camera in front. See, oh, maybe that's why you leave him in the box so you don't see all that written on the back of his head. It's made in China, as you'd expect. I believe there's 25 packs combined in these two boxes. And the aim for this particular opening is to try and complete the Pokedex. There's 151. Oh, this is proper paper. None of that glossy stuff. Just being printed off at Office Works or something. So, as I lose the box itself, there it is there. Let me move Cyndaquil out of the way for a minute. You're not part of this generation either, so there we go, we'll take the lid off that. Get rid of that, it's not needed. Right, there should be nine in here. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. And I must say, Charizard's a lot more pink than I remember it being. And we have the deck dividers. Ooh, I forgot about promo cards. It's been a while since I've opened one of these. There's a Snorlax. Take him out of the plastic later. Code card, mine. The sleeves, they're always, always warped and bent. Although these ones are surprisingly not as bad as usual. Energy's a waste of space, to be honest. Coins, for if you get burnt or poisoned. Dice, for Monopoly. So let me put this back here. Open this bad boy. Oh, this is huge. Let's stick that there. So there's that. Oh, it doesn't fit in the frame. That's why I've got that one up there. Over Arceus, he's centered. And it opens like... This, apparently. Oh, and it's got a Pokeball on the inside, which I doubt is in frame, because there's not enough room on this. I didn't think it would open like this. The other one didn't open like this. So we've got, on the inside, oh, these ones. We'll take them out. So we got some Mew Illustrator card, a Golden Mew. I think it's, yeah, it's metallic, and Mew too. Then as well as the promo cards, you get a box, a dick box for your dick. This has actually got Velcro on it. Yeah, and a single deck divider, which is really, I don't know, odd, I suppose. So yeah, there's that nice frame of gradient on it. And then we got more counters for fire and burn. Fire and burn, fire and poison. Then we got pink dice, as opposed to the white dice. And disappointingly, there's no six other dice, so I'll tell the kids that there'll be only one dice monopoly tonight. We've got a coin. Tails never fails. We'll prove it. See? Those are tails. First try. That's the inside, which is kind of cool, actually. Scarlet 151. Put it like that. Top down view. And finally, to go with my Arceus playing mat, which has stayed rolled up since I bought it, we have a matching Mew playing mat, which I'm not going to leave there because it appears to be bigger. And I've got Arceus lined up for the top camera. So I'm going to make sure everything stays in frame up there. Right, so now, the important stuff. 25 pink Charizards. You just know there was a battle to the death to decide who went on the cover. And they were bitterly disappointed when Charizard didn't come out on top. We'll put our boy. He's there. Actually, he's facing left, so let's stick him there. First one. Electabuzz. Rhyhorn. Tangler. Coughing. Dugong. Hitmonchan. Seeking. Dragonair. Beedrill. And... Ditto! Splop, not to be confused with Piplup. Um, let me move this out of the way also so I don't bend that by leaning on it. Give Cyndaquil a coin to sit with. Was there an energy in that one, by the way? I'm not sure, I'm not really paying attention. I think there was. Fighting energy. A Weedle. Zubat. Golding. Weeping Bell. Machoke. Don't know where they got that photo of me, but I'll allow it. Dugong. Hitmonchan. Eradicate. Oh, crap. New EX. The golden one. The non-metallic equivalent of the Beedrill of the promo we got in the thing. 
which is pretty cool. Let's do that with our boy. That's your doing, Cyndaquil. And we'll try and see how much of the Pokedex we can complete out of the 151. There's, how many packs did I say? 25? 250 cards times 10. Wait, 25 packs, yeah, times 10, 250. Obviously minus all the energies, another 25, so 225. You should get at least 100, I would have thought. Persian, Flareon, and Jolteon. We're missing the famous Evolution, but I'm sure that one will be not too far away. It would be actually quite hilarious if in 25 packs I don't get it. I'm sad. We'll check the energy. Grass, Psyduck, Ekans, sort of hand-drawn. Looking Ekans, Cubone, probably one of the cooler ones, Gen 1, Vulpix. I've got to remember not to just cover everything with my thumb. Lapras, he's a cool, he's definitely up there in one of the better ones. Cycling Road, pain in the ass to ride up. Rhyhorn, Rhyperia, whew, he's up there. Magmortar, Electivire, those three. Radada, not so much. Ooh, Wigglytuff EX. Yonta, he's gonna sell us some camps. I'll stick it there. I don't want to cover them here. I've heard the potential of so-called god packs, which are supposedly an entire evolution line in one pack of just the starters, I think. We've got all the, hang on, the energies, you've got to look for swirls. I'm not seeing any at all. There's a little star there and a star there, but apparently the swirls are the good ones. So I'll stick that there. Ghastly, Paris, Voltorb, Krabby. Can you feel that, Mr. Krabby? Seeking, staying underwater, Butterfree, Water in the background, more water, Lapras, love Lapras. Electabuzz, Old Amber for an Aerodactyl. Electrode, loves a self-destruct this man. Got a bit of a temper problem I think, just like me, as I nudge my camera. Fucking piece of shit. Dark energy, boring. Magnemite, focus. Yo, this sort of looks rubbery. Caterpie, Eevee, we still haven't seen the Vaporeon yet. We're like five packs in anyway, so. Scyther. Is that Charmeleon? Parasect. Kabutops. Execute. And. Was I just throw it? Marai. Sandshrew. Psychic Energy. Seal? Doduo, is that? It's like it's a glass bottom floor. The fat Doduo looking at it. Tentacle. The Cycling Road. Scyther. Another Charmeleon. Hypno. Psyduck. And. Me too, to go with the Mew. But not a, like a rare one or anything. Just a basic sort of Mewtwo. Electric Energy. Rattata. Squirtle. Lickitung. Venonat. Parasect. Cloyster. Oh, this, when I was younger and only trained Charizard, this was the bane of my existence in Elite Four. Then again, the entire Elite Four was because I was crap. Giovanni's Charisma. Vileplum. Dragonite. He's definitely a cool one. Another Kuno, the Arctic one. So we've got one of the three birds. We've got none of the main starters apart from Charmeleon and Squirtle, which is weird. We're missing Vaporeon and we haven't got Kangaskhan. We want a Kangaskhan. Ooh, Dratini. We didn't have a Dratini. I was going to say Dratini, but I knew it would be the first card in this pack, so I didn't. Oh, here we go. There's a swirl the bottom left. I'm not sure which this camera is going to be best. There's two, three, four. Five by the looks of it. Dratini, Growlithe, The Rock Dude, Jigglypuff, Hauntar, that's a cool looking one. It's all scratchy. Is that like, I think it's Vegas or something in the background. Looks like it says, Welcome to Vegas. The Gambling Center in Celadon. Hitmanlee, Wartortle, Venomoth, Ditto, Splop, and Dodrio. Look like he's just been hit by someone hooning down the highway. I'm going to come out with a very unpopular opinion, I think. Ooh, coughing! He looks happy. He's ready for it. He knows I'm about to say something stupid. But Charizard, overrated. Every other pack, or not pack, trading card set is Charizard. 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 I heard you like Charizard. Ooh, Squirtle. And it's honestly, as someone who doesn't collect sets often, I try to avoid the ones with Charizard in it because I just know they're gonna be expensive and hard to find. Although having said that, I think I did do two booster boxes of Darkness Ablaze and I think I got the Charizard and the ETB. Staryu, Misty, always destroyed me. Was it Staryu or Star Me she ran with? I can't remember, but it would always end with Charmander. 
Spiro. In fact, it's quite ironic that they're side by side there. Bellsprout. Hypno. Polarath. You'd think he'd be psychic water, wouldn't you? Because it's like, you look into his whirly thing, his spiral, and he hypnotises you. Pidgeot, Onyx. This is like a combination of Pokemons and the witnesses. Meowth. And Mr. Mime. It's Sasha's dad. Oh, and I've got the energy. It doesn't matter. I did try to beat Pokemon. <laughs> Let's go Eevee with an Onyx, and I quickly change to a Rhydon. I oh, cannot stress enough how much I absolutely despise the Let's Go games now. Having played ooh, once, there's a spiral there just underneath the steel, and that's it, just the one. I hated it. That and Sun and Moon, I think they're both Gen 7. Oh, Cubone. Oh, I thought it was like snot there, because it was crying, because its mum's dead, but no. It probably played Let's Go Eevee and hated it. That's why it's shaking its bone up at the moon. Just like, oh, hang on. Rant aside, Dugong. I don't think it is because there's not enough cards left, is there? Oh, Nine Tails EX. I'm quite happy with the Squirtle. He's played on the beach. And then the uh, Nine Tails EX after that. Apparently, this camera here, photography camera, doesn't recall longer than half an hour. So before that cut out, we had acquired Squirtle on Nine Tails and Deccans. Oh, Magikarp. I forgot about Magikarp. How can you forget about Magikarp? It's not like Gen 7. Gen 7 was not memorable. Sun and Moon. I played it when it came out in 2016. I think I was in year 12. Um, because, oh, Kadabra's back. The lawsuit's over. Rock Dude, right on. The Onyx replies. Oh, Alakazam! EX. Whew. Ready for some wheat mix. And, fuck, who cares? Damn, that's pretty good. Stick him over, Wiggly Tough. I keep getting sidetracked. The moral of the story is Sun and Moon, crap. I hated it. I don't know how far into it I got before I stopped playing it. And then when we went to lockdowns in 2020, that's when I finished it because I was so bored. I played through, I think, basically every game in 2020, except for Gen 5, which is why I'm playing it. In another series, Pidget. Oh my night. We need on my star. Taurus, Eradicate, Krabby. And Raichu. Have I seen a Pikachu yet? I'm sure I have. It's probably in the Pokedex that I'm supposed to be updating. This is going to be a heavily edited video to cut out all my mumbling and jumbling and I'm all crap. I'm past half an hour now, so. So yeah, the two things that I remember from Sun and Moon, apart from it being a dreadful game, Potagon. Um, they, these are all new ones, I think. Ivasaur, Slowbro, Marchoke, Rhyhorn, Chameleon, not new. Mortares, the Molten 3, Water Energy. We haven't had, I think, a good chunk of those cards. If my editing powers, like I said, I was going to. I oh, know I've had that, I've had that. I don't think I've had a, a chop. Definitely haven't had Moltres. I don't think I've had them three either. So that was a pretty good pack. From Gen 7, the only things that I remember, the animations and moves were dreadfully slow, like Gen 4 level health bar, slow. And then Team Skull, the only thing I remember which probably shows the only thing I remember is Team Skull Grunts. There's two of them. I think it's more of how absurd it is that I remember it, that it was in the kids' game at all. Um, I don't think I've had a Diglett yet. There was two female Grunts in like a small room, and then you battle them, and they, one of them says to the other, I think we put each other's shirts on. The implication is, in this scenario, that for some reason or another, both of these female Rocket Grunts, to an extent, had no clothes on. And they had swapped or mistakenly put on each other's clothes before you stormed to the room. Like, maybe I dreamt it? I don't know, because when I searched it, I thought, surely this became a meme, but there was nothing there. Maybe no one else stumbled into that room. But, yeah, oh, hang on. I've got about the energy. Ah, oh, there's a biggish swell there. Although it's not really a swell. Not looking like it. Yeah, so the room with the two female rocket grunts with the wrong shirts on. And they had, like, it was basically just a sports bra, I think. So I don't know what, like, context was, but what it's implying is not PG, is it? Oh, and the other thing I remember Team Skull Grunts doing, which I also Google searched but couldn't find any results of, was there was one dude at a bus stop and for some reason he tried to steal it. And I just remember being absolutely perplexed as to why a grunt of any team on my chat. Have I had him yet? I don't think so. Like, why would you steal a bus stop? What's, what is there to gain from a bus stop? And then he's like, oh, I can't move this bus stop. It's like, I should get a golem or something to help me. I'm like, you don't need a bus stop, mate. And then we fought. I would have won because I don't think I fainted once in that entire game. 
um, because it was particularly easy. And a gold bat, I think, yeah. And yeah, I don't know. Like, find better things to steal than a bus stop. Team Rocket tried to steal, like, Pikachu. You're stealing a sign, mate. I don't think I've had an Abra yet, either. I'm getting through them here. Chansey! It's like a little... I don't know. I was going to say Minecraft, but it's not Minecraft, because it's round. It's like the, um, brilliant diamond, shining pearl characters. I don't know. That was another game that disappointed me. Gem 4 was one of my favourites, but that's a rant for another day. Back to Gen 7. But Sun and Moon, I don't think I'll ever play again. I might just uh, maybe 10 years, if I'm still into Pokemon in 10 years, play it and see if it was like justified hatred towards the game, which is I've, as I drop that onto the lens. Um, I don't know. I just didn't like it. And then Let's Go, I got for Christmas because I just don't like getting things from people. Just give me money for birthdays and Christmas. And I'll buy things like this two years later. And I'm like, give me Let's Go Eevee because that was when Brilliant Diamond Charm and Pearl came out. Is it two years ago now? I think I can bring these up here. We've got six, five packs left. And I just wanted, I think they gave you a Mew if you had saved data from a Let's Go game. <laughs> give me the game. Someone bought me a game when really I just wanted the Mew and I got the Mew and then I played it. I, it's the only other game that I've gotten halfway through and given up. Until recently, I got back into it and finished it and fuck, it annoyed me. Daisy's help. I have no idea who she is. Venomoth, and there she is again. Scyther, and another Wigglytuff. So we're obviously getting um, back into the... I don't know how the packs were mixed. I think it would have been premium collection first and then the E to be second. But like just the throwing thing was crap. Like you'd aim left and it'd go right, and you'd aim right and it'd go further right. And you'd do a throw forward and it would throw it back over your head. And then you would spin it around and it'd throw it forward. It's like, have some consistency. Like It wasn't even a fault of the motion controllers because I played a lot of Switch sports and it worked flawlessly. Because I bowled a 300 game multiple times and got pretty close on the tricky levels too. I still haven't had any of the starters. The Charizard, Blastoise, or Venusaur. They're the main three I know of me. And Gyarados. And Kangaskhan. So I know I'm missing four or five, however many. And I haven't had him yet either, because he's not in it. They fell four short of my boy Cyndaquil. Anyway, that's enough ranting. Back to all this. I've complained enough. For one session, I think. Oh yeah, here we go. There's a swirl there. I've got the light just right there. I think it's just the one. Yeah, it's just the one. Final two packs. Then I'll recap. I'll clean my mess. I'll go cry. I'll go laugh. I've got like a lot of cleaning to do. I'll probably go play white again. And I'll see what happens from there, I think. Magnemite, Caterpie, Onyx, Seedra. But have I had a horsey yet? I think so, tentacle. I've... Oh, there he is, saving it for the end, Vaporeon. I forgot I haven't had a Vaporeon, or maybe I've had. I got sidetracked by the camera dying out on me, and then my rant, and then my rant got cut off, and then I finished my rant, and I've got no clue what I've talked about at all in this. I think I've just waffled. I'm sure I just waffled for most of it. I haven't had, I've had decent ish pulls. Is four, five good with a dupe? I don't know. Dugong, unless there's one up the end here, but I can't. They've all got the shiny borders now. Ghastly, Chansey, and that was kind of disappointing way to finish it. All right, let's scooch all this over. Let's recap. I know the Pokedex is not complete, that's for sure. Um, all the starters, I didn't get a single starter. I'm, I'm like pretty surprised that happened. I would have thought there'd be at least a Venusaur. They would have printed ample Venusaur. No one likes Venusaur. I think Venusaur is harshly criticised. So we had the Nine Tails, which I like Fire Pokemon, so I'm not going to complain about a Fire Pokemon pool. And the Steel Energy with the Single Swirl. One of these had five. I think it was this one. Yeah, the Water one. So we had five Swirls on that one. There's a Single Swirl on the Dark Energy. Oh, who cares about Swirls, really? New EX, he's got one Swirl on his tail. Whoosh. Uh, Wigglytuff, we had two of these dudes. We'll put them aside. I don't know where the other one went. I must have thrown it on the ground in disgust. Oh no, there he is. Just there. Fire energy. I think they're the main three pools. We just scooch all these aside. Oh, and of course Vaporeon. You can't look past Vaporeon for the memes. It'll just sit in there. So if I cut to the top up camera, he'll be sitting there. 
the fucking into everyone's soul. So the Mew, we saw that one. So the Alakazam, ready for some wheat picks. Squirtle, down on the beach, Bondi Rescue, he's right. And of course, the promos. I should take these out if I can find a way. So there's the Mew. We'll give him the Cyndaquil. There you go. Yeah, I agree. Who needs to see that when you can see Cyndaquil? And you got the Mew too. It's kind of dark, you can't really see much in it. Maybe the top down with more light on it. He's just overlooking the York or something. There it is. To go with this one. Oh, that's nice. You know what? As I said, Charizard's overrated. I'd much rather a matching Mew to go with a metal Mew than a Charizard. Cool. So that is all, I guess. Um, I don't know if this is going to go up or anything. Depends on how into I get into the editing. Oh, wait, there's Snorlax in here somewhere. There he is down there. Much better, yeah. Oh, he's got a Pidgey on top of him. And a Diglett. The Pidgey's grooming in March. Yeah, that's not focusing, but. So that's it, I'm gonna wrap up. My back is honestly killing me. This is a tiny table and I've been leaning over the camera. We'll leave our boy Vaporeon on there. With Cyndaquil. I'm not sure that'd get along too well, but the most important thing is Cyndaquil's here. Yes. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And what other stuff I do? Because I do other stuff too. Not much, but I don't know. Well, I hope I'll fucking start it.